Hey guys, John with Tiny Trucking, and it has been a month since I got this Red Red Cat Marksman, and uh, I've put it through the ringers. It is time for a review. Oh, yeah. <laughs> First thing I want to touch on is how how well this truck takes a beating. So let's get right in to the beatdown footage. I was not very gentle on this truck. It is a big truck. It's got some weight. Uh, it's taken some tumbles. I won't bring it over and just let you check out what the body's like. That brown on the inside coming through like a nice rust everywhere the paints come off. It's uh, the cage is so solid and so uniform. The giant body pins, you need the giant body pins it's a giant truck um, the only places well, I don't know, man. that rear quarter that got dented in real good everywhere has been scraped and busted this is probably what your truck might look like in a few months uh, I like to get up and get out and with this thing I was just too excited not to send it over some stuff again and again and again so let's go to to the tumble footage here we go Told you. Okay, for reference, we went from here, there, 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 there. Uh, and if you look closely in the bushes, you'll see the red cat that, as usual, took a tumble and is driving back out. This will be a really good test of how my descents have improved. Please stop soon. Oh, on the wheels. So the next thing I want to chime in on is this rear sway bar because it hands down did the most for this truck out of everything I've done to it. And I'm hoping that it comes up good in the video, but it's an SMT 10 sway bar. I had to pinch it in a little bit to get to clear the shocks. But once I got it to clear the shocks, everything started functioning as it should. And I actually get some sway bar action. Um, hands down, best mod. I started with a Wendigo sway bar kit and used that mounting bracket after being drilled out a little bit to fit the five millimeter sway bar for the uh, SMT-10 that it came off of. It definitely firmed things up a bit. It keeps the rear end tucked and low when, when articulating and it really helps out. Um, my shock mount position, or the shock mount holes, I have kind of settled on dead center in the rear to kind of keep the skid up a little bit and then all the way up in the front. In the top center. Um, the front springs I did droop with a pen spring. It's where you pull the shock apart and you put a clicky pen spring in working the opposite way of the shock and that helps the shock stay lower and it's just something you can do to keep the truck squatted squatted low. That was uh, that was the main objective was to get everything as low as possible <clears throat> and as far forward as possible. Uh, another little trick was just taking a, a small as a 3s 2200 battery and uh put it right in front of the shock or not the shock post the body posts in the front and uh it just takes that bulk of weight chucks it as far forward as it can
I've really had the most fun with this truck since my first crawler. It brought that new appeal to it, that big, that different. Uh, it lets me look for different size lines. Um, the, the smartest thing I think Red Cat did on this truck was putting the variable wheelbase in because they made it so simple. You have three location options for the front axle and three for the rear axle. If you kick it all the way out, it's 15 inch wheelbase. A 15 inch wheelbase with a five and a half inch tire has nine and a half inches between the tires. It was a gigantic wheelbase. It was spread out so far I couldn't, I couldn't grab the rocks it needed to grab to get over the obstacles. So I brought it back in. Right now, the front end is all the way back and the rear end is all the way back. And though it hasn't been ideal because this front bumper loves to grab things, the wheels are close enough to grab rocks and to drive most of the lines that the 13, the 13 and a half wheelbase trucks can get. Aside from it just being really wide, it, it's been getting through close gates, barely, just barely. It's, it's tricky for 11 inch gates when it's like a 10 inch wide truck. It, it, it's just ridiculous. Um, the steering, a lot of people have been going over different ways to get a little more. Um, solution I came up with on the bench was to grind down the plastic take about a millimeter out of it you just want it so that you can get to 45 degrees the CVDs inside they don't go much past 45 degrees if you can get it to the point where you're getting your full 45 out of both tires then that's a win um, something I did was add a little spacer to the front steering bar uh, to kind of pitch Pitch the wheels outwards. I really hope you can see, but they're towed out. And it's intentional because when I'm pitched all the way over, both tires are as close to 45. The inside tire, it turns more. A step closer to proper Ackerman, but we, we're gonna have to go through and move the, the mount point on the knuckles if we really wanna dive in and, and make it all perfect. Um, as is, this truck has uh, some stainless steel 2.2 wheel weights in the front uh, for the Injora wheels. They're three ounces a piece, so it's got six ounces, six ounces up front. I had two ounces in each rear wheel, and I pulled it out. It was uh, it was holding the truck down. It was too much weight. So we're dragging all that weight around instead of pulling it up. So we got rid of that. So the only mods on here right now are the steering mod where you grind it down a millimeter and use a set screw. I use a set screw on one side and the other side has a dab of shoe goo just to fill the hole that I'm kind of running as a test because I don't think we really need a screw in there whatsoever. It's just a theory. We'll see if it breaks or not. Um, <clears throat> the steering, the pen springs in the front and heavier weight in all four shocks. Uh, I'm going to set it at 100 in the rear and maybe even a little thicker up front. We'll see where I end up with that. Um, moving the shock locations and then playing with the wheelbase. And that's just kind of seeing what wheelbase works for the terrain and locations and lines that I'm going to be driving. Um, <laughs> I love this truck, man. I've been letting my four-year-old drive my nice belly dragger so that I can drive this when we go out. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. It's big. It's new. It brings that excited energy vibe back to crawling and that's what it's all about for me all right so here's some running footage with some music enjoy
This is one of my favorite little spots out here. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the one month review. I hope you enjoyed the footage of the Red Cat and the differences from when I first got it to how it handles now. I hope uh, maybe some of my tips and tricks are useful for you. And again, if you enjoy this content, please subscribe. There's plenty more coming and hit that like and share button. Thanks, guys. Till next time.